Okay, welcome back to Buzz Look Forge. Today we're going to work on project number 32. That is going to be a knife this time. So it's actually, it says Puko, but it's called, I think it's pronounced Punkau. Uh, this is a Scandinavian type blade, so you see it's very, um, you know, pretty straight edge blade there, um, pretty high uh, bevel in there. And then the handle here is, is I have to exaggerate a little bit just because it's not going to be that that wide. But you can see it's um, pretty a pretty so it's going to be a rounded type shape. Um, difficult to express on a two-dimensional drawing here. Um, and then we'll put a, a little bit of design in the front. So this is going to be um, for a, for a scout again. So we'll do a um, a brass guard, and then we'll try and get some uh, some colours at the front of the handle, and then we'll select the wood handle. So what we'll do right now is we'll start working on the steel itself, and we'll use the 1095 steel that we've been using before.
can see for the overall knife here, blade part of it, we got that shaped, rough shaped, and then the back end is going to be the hidden guard. Uh, so I took it down on either side, then chopped the end off. So now we'll just do a little bit more shaping. Uh, but I don't want to take too much off this because it's going to be a lot of grinding and I want to make it a pretty thick knife anyway. Uh, but you can see it's a pretty good sized knife. Uh, I think that's about four and a half to five inches. So that's what I was looking for. We'll just do a lot more work on the uh, back end of this hidden guard now. So we finished rough forging the blade. As you can see, well you can't see, but we got about four and a half inches, probably once we've finished all the work here, be about four and a half inch blade, which is what we're looking for, by about, it's got a width of one and one and three eighths right now. So probably when we're finished, it'll probably be uh, in, the, in the one quarter range, is again what we're looking for. The next stages are gonna be for the blade side of things. We'll just uh, shape this out on the grinder, start getting a little bit of a bevel on there. Obviously that's not anywhere near sharp enough for uh, a knife. But again, I don't want to go too far because if I go too far then when I quench it, it might warp. And then the, for the hidden tang, it's uh, super long right now, but that's okay. Uh, it actually helped me work it on the anvil a little bit better. Uh, so we'll just tidy all this up, get it in a, in a rough grind set up and then from there we will move on to do the quench. deal with a, um, a slight crack at the front so I've had to put more of a clip on this and um, really it's not looking like that original punk out design that we talked about so it's more like a, uh, a small hunting camp knife now um, so I think what I'm going to do is make it into a camp knife so rather than the other design I'm going to put a guard on the front here. I'm going to put a guard on the front and maybe go with some uh, purple heart. And I do have a, an old brass end that I might try and put on the end as well. So that'll be the different, the new design that we go with. But for right now, we've still got to work on the on the front part of the blade. So we'll just continue to grind that out, uh, shape the bevel a little bit more or well, a lot more um, and then just create the whole front end of the knife then tape it off and then we'll start working on the handle.
stabilizing it by heating it up and letting it cool down. And this just helps the metal or the steel, the kind of molecules, get used to it. Um, so you can see here, it's obviously red hot. What I'll do now is just let it cool down. And this is what you do when you get rid of the crunchy pieces. Crunch went well. Um, it's a small blade, so it's fairly easy to heat up. I do enjoy having a longer tank, so it gives me time to play with it. So I've got it in the vise right now, so it's cooling down. We'll leave it a little bit longer. Then we'll do a quick file test, um, and then once we've done the file test, we'll put it back in the vise, leave it to cool down, and then we'll do the tempering. So we'll do that today. Um, and if you remember, if you've never seen this before, so we heat the blade up and then we quench it in the oil and this gives it a real hardened edge but by dipping it in and pulling it back out we hope that the middle's um, not quite as brittle but then it's still very brittle and in some cases people almost call it like a glass like if you if you go in too hot so what we do is we put it in a um, in my case a not tempering oven but a toaster oven um, and we run it there for a couple of hours at about 425 and then that just helps to remove some of that brittleness but still give us that sharp hard edge that we need And I can kind of feel it digging in a little bit. When we do it on here, we should hear more of a skating sound. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel it. See here, I don't know if you can hear it, it's more of a sharp, high pitch sound versus a So that finishes today's episode. Um, so you can see we got the blade. We did our shaping on the with the forge and the anvil. Then we did some rough grinding to get us the overall shape. Uh, then we went in and did the quench that you saw, and then we finished off with some um, toaster oven tempering. So we tried to get it about 400 and 425. I went through a couple of cycles there. So pretty good. Um, obviously, I've still got a massive. Um, hidden tang here so we'll, we'll, we'll chop that down later on um, I think the only thing I would call out is I've really not got that um, punko shape anymore this is more like a, a small hunting knife um, but I've also been thinking if, if you can kind of imagine if your hands here and for a scout I've kind of changed my mind a little bit as far as I think I want to put a guard on the front of this just to give it a little bit of uh, uh, guard for your, for your fingers so you don't slip into the blade because it's going to be a pretty sharp blade. So we'll maybe update that um, so it's punk cow ish instead of a true punk cow blade now. Uh, but that'll be next time round. So next time we do this video, we'll start finally shaping the blade, getting it nice and sharp, and then we'll figure out how we fit a uh, handle. And as always, please like and subscribe uh, and leave any comments. Thank you.